Hey guys, what's happening? So, in the previous video, I did a uh, Raptorium uh, Ryzen 9 build, and in that build, I had to copy over a Hive OS from a USB flash drive to my M2 drive. Uh, I'm not sure what the deal was, but my M2, the way I would normally do it would be an M2 converter, a USB to M2 converter, and then I'd use Balin, the lane etcher, uh, to copy over the image that way. But for some reason, it was shortened out. I'm not sure what the deal was. It's getting hot, so I decided to take some video out of that one video uh, to show you the process I did and how I got it to go. Uh, one of the things you want to do is you want to download your rig config first and then copy it over to your USB flash drive. So that way, when you do a complete, you're, what you're doing is you're doing a complete image. The DD command is you're doing a complete clone. You're completely cloning the, uh, what's it called, the uh, USB flash drive to either your SATA drive, it could be SATA, in my case it was M2 drive, but I've done this with actually both, so it works for both. The main thing is in Linux, you just need to know like the actual drive letters. Uh, like you need to know like this right here. So when you do like an fdisk list command, it's going to have to list what your thing is. In my case, I was actually running a um, M2 drive, so it was like M201, I can't remember what it was, but you'll see my in, in the following video. But uh, yeah, pretty basic, just one command, dd command, and you're just going to basically clone that USB drive over to the, uh, you know, the full-time storage. All right, so uh, watch the following videos. Here, so while this thing is flashing, uh, the BIOS is flashing, I'm going to install the uh, Hive OS on my, uh, this is an M2 adapter. So yeah, I'm going to be putting this in my computer, I'm going to flash uh, the image file via the Lena Etcher on the SSD. 256 SSD, you don't need that much space. I think hardly takes any space up. The main thing is you can you can boot it from a USB drive, Hive OS, but it's not good. You're not supposed to. I mean, USB flash drives just can't handle the amount of reads and writes you're going to have to do for database logging, that kind of stuff. Yeah, I don't know what's up with my uh, USB converter, but it, would just, it seemed like it got really hot, like it was shorting out. Like the pins weren't 100% right, I don't know. Um, didn't Never had that problem before, so I'll have to manually copy it over from a USB image. I'll show you that. I'm familiar with Linux. I've been building Linux-based web servers since the uh, late 90s. All right, so I get that on there. Um, all right, and then there's like the little heat shield that comes over like that. All right, so make sure you have a USB 3.0 uh, flash drive and a, and a USB 3.0 port. Definitely would make this thing a lot um, transfer over a lot faster. All right, let's try this again. All right, fire this up. Right, I was thinking that button right there might be an extra power button. Sometimes I'll actually put a power button now on, on the mining boards, but it's not a mining board, it's a gaming board. I don't know, so I had to change my video card. For some reason it wouldn't boot. Um, at least I could get any, it, would, it was booting, it just wasn't getting any screen. So, I'm going to do an fdisk l All right, GPU mismatch, da -da, we'll correct by rewrite. All right, so I'm looking for, that's the uh, USB drive, but it doesn't see the, there we go. NVMe on 01, so that's where I gotta copy my device, disk device. Alright, so I need to, uh, I'm gonna do a command, I can't do it with one hand, so I'm gonna show you the command. And I copy over the uh, USB flash drive over to the uh, M2 drive. So that's the command, so dd if equals device sda, that's the USB drive right here. That is the uh, M2 drive. 10 megabit at a time, 800 count, status progress. Alright. There it goes. So right now it should be copying flash drive to M2 drive. All right, looks like I've been copied over. 8.4 gigs. All right, so I'm gonna reboot this thing. Type in uh, reboot R B O O T, and then I'll have to remove the uh, USB drive. So once it actually the BIOS flashes, I'm just gonna pull this out. We want to boot the uh, M2 drive. All right, pull it out. Alright, now hopefully it should default to the uh, M2 drive. <clears throat> Alright, looking good, looking good. Alright, so now we're booting off the M2 drive. Yeah, I mean, it's a lot easier if you just connect it to this thing, but for some reason I could get this to work. Um, it was just getting hot, like I was shorting or something. Alright, so that's uh, it's an extra step. I've already, hopefully this will have copied over, copied over the rig config, and it should have. 
uh, one thing is if you're going to do that, right, make sure you copy your rig config first to the USB drive, because that way it will copy it over to the actual M2 drive. You don't have to go back later and do a manual copy of the rig config.